Welcome, welcome everybody. The song you just heard, let me entertain you of course. And we hope that in the next 10 minutes or so we can entertain you, we can inform you, we can even inspire you because we're going to talk today about the DSI. And the DSI is the next generation in stock prints, UV, LED printing technology. Now, as you can possibly hear, I'm from Scotland, my name is Derek. This is Harry and Oliver, my Dutch colleagues. And together we're going to tell you about the many unique features of the DSI and also explain what makes it really stand out in the field of inkjet printing technology. And in fact, there's a little bit of history being made at the moment because this is the first time the DSI has made an appearance at a North American oh, exhibition. And on the subject of making history, yesterday evening at the Label Industry Global Awards, Stock Print picked up this trophy here for continuous innovation. And it's that continuous innovation that feeds into new developments like the next generation DSI. In fact, Stork Print brought its first inkjet printing system onto the market in 1986. And since then has built up over 25 years experience in developing and producing such systems. Yeah. At the moment, there are currently over 4,000 systems for proofing and printing made by Stork Print in use worldwide. And in addition to that, Stork Prince also has its own in-house ink production facility. And this gives you two main advantages. The first is a guaranteed high consistency quality of ink at all times. And the second is it fits in with this total systems approach. So you don't just get the machine, but you also get the ink that's used in that machine. And by matching these two more closely, it helps give you a higher quality end result. So essentially, Stork Prince is the only European ink manufacturer but it also makes machines. And in addition to that, it manufactures critical components itself. So thanks to a world leading position in electroforming technology and in metal precision parts, it makes the nozzle plates for industrial inkjet printing systems. Okay, that's enough background information. Let's take a look at the DSI. Now probably one of the first things you notice is it's designed like a conventional press. So what we have here is the substrate coming off the unwind passes through the web guidance and it's then preconditioned in two ways. First by a web cleaning device and then by a corona treatment unit. After that, the substrate passes in to what we can describe as the heart of the DSI, the digital printing platform. And it's here where the ink is not only applied but also pre-cured using these intermediate UV LED pinning stations. Now, I'll talk about them in greater detail later because they have a significant impact on the quality of the end result. After that, the substrate passes for its final curing. This is conventional UV curing. Thank you, Oliver. And in here, this takes place in combination with the Stork Prince chill drum technology. So what we have, a water-cooled chill drum, keeps the temperature down below 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And that means that you can work with heat-sensitive substrates. Now, the way you see the DSI today is being used in combination with inline finishing. So what we have here, semi-rotary flexo unit, and over there, semi-rotary die cutting and slitting, which isn't actually taking place at the moment. But if there's one word you had to choose to sum up the, the appeal of the DSI, that would be modularity. For example, there's modularity in the configuration, so yes, it can be used in combination with inline finishing, but also stand alone, as you can see on the screens behind me, so without the inline finishing. But there's also a tremendous degree of modularity in two other aspects. First, the number of print positions, and then the choice of printing width. So let's start with the print positions. The DSI has a total of 10 print positions. Now, it basically works as follows. You can start with a, a basic con uh, configuration, CMYK, we have the CMYK here. But it's designed so that you can build on that at any moment in the future. So for example, in the first position you can add digital white. And if I may suggest, have a look at the samples over there after the show, you can see the quality for yourself, but it's exceptionally high quality. And in fact, one single application of this digital white 
is enough to give the screen look opacity. Now if you go to the second print position, this is digital primer. Now if you use inkjet printing systems, in general you have a fairly high degree of substrate flexibility because there's no physical contact between the print heads and the substrate. With the DSI, you go one step further. This digital primer allows you to work with virtually any kind of substrate, including, for example, machine-coated paper. And another benefit of this approach is that the primer is only applied to the substrate where you're going to print. So not on the entire substrate, but only where ink will be applied. So it's a very cost-effective way of priming your substrate. And in addition to that, the priming and the printing takes place in line in a single pass. So there is no impact on the process speed when you're priming the substrate. Now another important topic is extending your colour range. And what you see in these print positions here are additional spot colours, orange and violet. And by adding orange and violet to the CMYK, then approximately 90% of the Pantone colour book is within your reach. And then you still have two print positions available for, for example, additional spot colours. You can add them at any point in the future should circumstances require you to do so. Each of the print positions has its own unique ink supply in these drawers below, which Oliver will kindly open for us. So what you see here, you can actually open the drawer and even replenish the ink supply while production is taking place and it has no impact whatsoever. There's a, un a unique ink circulation system inside that allows your printing job to carry on even though this is open, even though you're actually replenishing the ink supply. Thanks Oliver. Now, I mentioned two things. First was the print positions. The second is the choice of printing widths. What we see today is the DSI printing at the maximum width of 13 inches, that's 330 millimeters. And to achieve that, there are five print heads in each print position, side by side. You can see that up on the screen there. But what you can actually do is start printing at narrower width and then expand at the future. When you print at narrower width, you need fewer print heads, obviously, so it's more cost effective. But you can add them if you want to expand. So you can start, for example, at 135 millimeters, and then go up to 200, 265, and 330, which is approximately 5, 8, 10, and 13 inches. And in fact, the DSI is available on special request with a wider frame. And this allows you to print at 21 inches, 530 millimeters. Now, we'd like to draw your attention to a couple of labels. There's already been labels rolling off the press the whole time I've been speaking, but we'd like to point out a couple of labels in particular. The first ones would typically be used in cosmetics and personal care. And the reason we've chosen this, well, the first one is the quality of the digital white. I mentioned this earlier, but it really is exceptionally high, so these labels are on the sample rack afterwards. Feel free to take some with you and have a look. But what's also special about these labels is the fine line work and the quality of the text. The text is extremely clear and crisp. And how that's done, that brings us back to these intermediate UV LED pinning stations. Because what essentially happens is the ink is applied here and then pre-cured before the substrate passes on to the next print position. Now it's not permanently fixed here, that takes place where the chill drum is, but it's fixed enough in position. And by doing so, in between each application of ink, you get much higher quality. You can do work with finer lines and crisper text. And it also helps improve your color accuracy because as each layer of ink is applied, it's dry before any new ink is applied on top. And this means there's no bleeding between the colors. So that, together with the additional spot colors, is how you can achieve almost 90% of the Pantone color book. And something else that's important in the quality of the end result is the digital front end. So this is the process by which your files are color managed and the substrate you're working with is taken into consideration. And the digital front end for the DSI has been developed in partnership with ESCO. And just one more thing before we show you another kind of label. What you see here at the moment is versioning. So there's, there's different versions of the same label being printed side by side. 
Now the DSi can do that with remarkable ease, but what you can also do is to print different versions of the same label, one after the other in batches. And when you switch between batches, this is known as hot swapping. And you'll see on the reel in a moment there, as we go from one kind of label to the next, that when this takes place, there's absolutely no substrate waste whatsoever. You just go seamlessly, so you just, there, there we go, it goes seamlessly from one kind of label to the other. No substrate waste, and also no impact on the speed of the press. It just keeps rolling at the same speed, even though you're switching between print jobs. Now, there'll be another label coming out in any second now. And it's the second type of label we want to pay particular attention to. These labels would typically be used in industrial, chemical, and automotive applications. There they go, good man, Harry. And the reason we've chosen them is because labels used in these kind of situations, they can take a lot of punishment. They can be subjected to scratching, to chemicals, to excessive UV light. These kind of labels, when printed with the DSi, don't require any special extra protection or any special lacquering, for example, because they are already scratch resistant, they're chemical resistant, and they have a very high degree of light fastness, which is equivalent to the Blue Bull Scale 7. So briefly to sum up, with the DSi, you can open up a whole new world of possibility in label printing, in terms of the colors you can achieve, in terms of the special effects you can achieve, and also, thanks largely to the digital primer, to the substrates that you can work with. And there's also really as an element of future proofing built in, so you can start with a relatively basic configuration, and then you can expand on that, you can build on that at any point, if your customers ask you to do so, or if changing market conditions mean that you have to change what you're doing in order to keep up. So with the DSi, you can keep printing for years to come, and it will grow along with your business. So once again, I'd say have a look at the samples afterwards. There are plenty of salespeople here who can answer any questions you may have, or even arrange a special demonstration of the DSi for you. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show.